Okay, before uh, I get into the uh, test spray video of the fake GTI Pro Lite, I just thought I'd share some uh, some weights of the guns that I have. This is the Spray It uh, SP33000 uh, Genuine Devalvis FLG5, and of course the fake GTI Pro Lite. I got the little scale here to turn on. Um, little popsicle sticks just to keep things balanced but there's a big weight difference in these guns and especially the uh, the fake GTI um, the little spray it little spray it gun here get it to balance up on this again here we go comes in at 529 almost 530 grams the uh, the FLG5. This gun comes in at uh, 593 grams, and the uh, the fake GTI Pro Lite with the cup on it is sitting at 717 grams. And I looked up on uh, Spray Guns Direct. Uh, website and this gun just like this with the pod on it now I did remove the lid but the lid doesn't weigh much it is only supposed to weigh 629 grams I believe so this gun weighs almost a hundred grams more so a hundred grams that's almost a quarter of a pound uh, more than an original one that being said it's a little information for you people looking to buy one um, on to the uh, test spray video Okay, I got myself set up. I got some black base in the fake uh, GTI, and uh, I'm in the back garage here, a tarp shelter. Uh, panels all set up there, just sanded down with some 600, a little, little prep work down to it, nothing special. I'm gonna set you up in the, in the tripod, and we'll spray the black base, and then uh, throw some clear on it. Okay guys, I uh, brought the panel out into the sun after putting two coats of black on it. It looks absolutely horrible. Um, got a lot of striping in it for some reason and um, paint had a, a reaction uh, with the clear that was uh, sprayed down on it. Been, that had been hardened for like weeks now. So it looks like I'm going to have to sand this back and, uh, and seal it. All right, here's the deal. I moved back up the driveway. Uh, too many mosquitoes back at the uh, back of the yard in the tarp shed. Um, I sand this back with some uh, 320, and I got rid of most of that uh, that fry up kind of looking stuff that was going on. Uh, and then I decided, well, you know what I should do? I should uh, do maybe do a head to head here as well at the same time. Um, so I, I divided the panel. In half, I'm going to spray this half with the uh, fake GTI, and then I spray the other side with one of my favorite cheapest guns, is uh, the uh, SP3300, and see what the difference is before I clear it. Okay, it's the same setup: one on the fan, three on the material, 20 psi. Still seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of foggy patches in the in the spray pattern for what it was set up. 
um, compared to uh, the spray it. it seems to be uh, a little more a little more consistent for uh, you know a slower gun so I'm gonna mix them clear up and hit them anyway okay I mixed up 150 mils of uh, clear plus hardener I'm gonna just blow this off with a little air um, the gun settings are staying the same at one fan uh, three material but I'm gonna put the air pressure up to 30 psi Okay, I got the first coat down. It's pretty much uh, cured up, ready for second coat. But I could tell when it was uh, when it was spraying that the uh, that the pattern was very distorted. So I'm not overly impressed so far. But I'm going to get another coat on it and uh, see how it turns out. Okay, I just got the gun cleaned up. Um, that was two full, nice wet coats. Thirty-five milliliters of clear to get two coats, two quick coats on here. All right, it's been a couple days. Uh, the the clear coat has uh, shrunk back a little bit because it is a. Uh, a cheaper MS clear, um, still retaining uh, retaining the gloss not too badly. Uh, I can't say that this is a bad gun or a good gun. That's kind of a, a mixed feeling on it. It uh, you know it sprayed the clear down pretty nice. It did have a few uh, few issues with the uh, base coat for whatever reason with them stripes in it. But uh, overall, it's a it's a decent gun. But uh, you know it's it's buyer beware. Um, you might get a good one, you might get a bad one, it might spray nice, it might not. So, uh, you know, make your own choice. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe.